Ten years ago, the Environmental Service Committee at Texas State established a bike cave where students could come learn how to service and repair their bikes. Root Cellar Bakery is located on North LBJ and Hopkins Street. For Bobcat Update, I'm Chelsea Anguiano. If your bike needs to be serviced, you can visit the bike cave in the Colorado building where trained professionals can help fix your bike free of charge. Each year, the Coffee Forum in Lampasas Hall switches up their artwork to give a variation of pieces that the public can view. Each week, San Marcos locals come out to Root Cellar Bakery to listen to local musicians. It really reminded me of kind of a more intimate atmosphere where people can really just take a moment, um, a detourne, you know, and, and do something different and just enjoy it, and the acoustics in here are amazing. Many of the locals like that it is a family-friendly place where people of all ages in San Marcos can enjoy the music. It's definitely for all ages, and it depends on the band. Like, whoever's playing, they'll have, like, their friends come out and so they can bring their kids. So, like, anyone can come, anyone's welcome. We have goodies for everybody. <laughs> Musicians say it's a fun atmosphere where people can come out, listen to good music, and relax after a long week. This is one of the best venues, the Root Cellar Bakery, this is like the greatest sound, one of the best venues in San Marcos easily. And in Austin, honestly, it's so intimate and beautiful. The bakery offers a variety of pastries. Coffee and drink options are also available to customers. The Zavala family is one of the many affected by the flooding. The Zavalas received help, but their recovery is far from complete. And we're still uh, encountering different challenges every day, you know, uh, in, in regards to finding volunteers to perform this and making the remaining dollars of ours uh, stretch as long as possible so we can help as many of those that, that we can because we still do have unfunded cases. To the Zavalas, family is the most important thing. Every Sunday, everybody come to eat, and I cook for everybody to come, and I have a lot of people every Sunday. It's a big party. Every Sunday, I cook for my kids. With the help of their community, the Zavalas are hoping their home will be completed soon. Maybe for Saturday, better. They think for Saturday they're going to finish everything. Better see. Uh, for Friday, see. Para viernes. No, para viernes. For yeah, Friday, si maybe for viernes. Friday. Volunteers cleared out the debris and helped repair damages that were made by the flooding. For us as volunteers, we've really enjoyed being in this community because the people are really open to us. They're very, very welcoming. And so we've made lots of connections with especially church people because that's where we meet most of them. Even though two years have passed since the floods occurred, there are still many homes that need repairs. Initially, right after the flood or a major disaster, you see a turnout of thousands of people that want to get out there and help in some way. And once it continues to drag on, you know, two years later, we are relying on uh, university students like yourself and then also Serve San Marcos. The organization is always looking for volunteers and donations. If you'd like to help out, you can visit br3t.org or call 512-677-9701. A former death row inmate, Anthony Graves, spoke to Texas State students and visitors Tuesday evening. Graves was the featured speaker at a university-sponsored Common Experience event. Graves spoke about his experiences both in and out of prison. He was wrongfully convicted of capital murder in 1992 and spent nearly two decades in prison. The School of Journalism and Mass Communication will host its annual MassCom Week starting next Monday. MassCom Week will consist of having guest speakers, a wide range of panels, hands-on sessions, and workshops. Several different companies and organizations will be on hand to network with students. Events are scheduled October 16th through the 19th.